Shinobi vlog. This vlog is about the DJI Osmo action. And that's all I'm gonna shoot on today. Give it a little run through. I just went to Chesty. Zero gimbal. Now I'm in HD or mode with no stabilization on. And then over to my right, I planted all those plants in the last week, I think, since I was out here. That's what that looked like in another few more weeks and months. So all I want to do is bring this out on the road bike, see how stable it is. <clears throat> Once it's on the chest, I'll put the stabilization on and I'll have it in Cine D. I'm shooting at 2.7K, 50 frames per second for all you techies. I'm just going to give it a run through. I had the DJI Osmo, the original one first. That was great, but it was, it was kind of big and bulky. But this one's kind of a little bit more discreet, smaller. I like the features on it. I like the fact that it makes me get into water. So it's all good. So I'm going to go for a couple of hours, a few or three hours. Let's see how it goes. I forgot to bring a pump. That just turned itself off there. 20 seconds into my rant. So this is the audio straight from the from the camera. They haven't got the mic jack out yet. Since I got this, this is well, end of June 2019. So I didn't bring a pump, left it in the gym. So if I get a puncture, I'm fucked. But I'm on the uh, guard. Pinarello stroke, Tour de France winning machine. This bike won the Tour de France, all so carbon fiber cockpit. And you've got the uh, stages parameter. I mean the technology in these boys are unbelievable these days. So we'll go out, I'll stick this on the chesty, I won't talk too much. You'll see how steady it is. For like I say, I'm gonna put it in um, City D, need the stabilization on, but I didn't think I'd need it here with the HDR because I'm hand holding and it's wide, super wide. Right. Here, you have a right turn here. I almost missed it sometimes. Oh, it's gravelly, so that should take it handy. And under this little bridge here. This bridge is a long way to go to Sandwich. I might get a windsock for this camera uh, just to cut down the noise. I have the actual wind reduction on, but it muffles the sound something terrible. Anyway, you know, we'll just see how it is. Like I say, I'm not going to do much with the footage. Um, I won't color grade it or mess with the audio. Um, I'm doing about 27 kilometers an hour here. 300 watts. Got a bit of a tailwind, so a crosswind. So it should be, I'm hearing it in my ear, so you should be able to hear the audio. You know, with the wind blowing a bit. Got a little descent here now. So you should uh, see how this works out. There's a friend in the background. He jumps at the end of this, so take a handy down this. I like this climb, it's a power climb, so we're going to blast up it. I fell out in love with the bike when I finished riding, that's all I ever wanted to do. Sometimes uh, <coughs> it's hard to admit to yourself where you are in life, and with the bike I just wasn't good enough. No matter what I did, I wouldn't have been good enough. So I moved on. Now I'm starting to love it again. There's a couple of things I really like about this camera already. One is, I can just, when the camera is off, I can just press record. 
no start up time it just comes straight on to record and then when I turn off the record button it just turns the camera back off so far on the battery it seems to be okay um, I brought this power pack because I don't have a spare battery but these are as good now so you just get instead of buying a, a spare battery when I'm not using it put it in my back pocket plug it in USB-C so if the phone goes dead as well I can charge that the other thing <coughs> the strap here with that mounty the camera is upside down to give me a better field of view otherwise as I bend over it kind of stares at the at the handlebars so I, I did that at the start and it wasn't working out but I figured it out put it upside down and that's it the other thing is it's hard to take this is why I'm stopped it's hard to take off this the clip so I have a strap from the the original Osmo which is an easy quick release and I might try it on that the next time just to take it off so I can talk to the camera instead of stopping anyway we'll push on I'm feeling I don't know how many miles I'm gonna do I might do a few more anyway I'm enjoying it just had a look at the review of the audio there and it's with that wind it's really windy and you can just hear my voice with no wind so fucking thumbs up right I'll do a bit more commentary as I'm riding so this is a little village called Coffino or Coffito I think it's Coffino and if we take a right we're going to oh the ash if we take a left we're going to the barrage M. so we're going to take a right here the barrage M is is a reservoir like that services Lagos and the Algar pretty much uh, it's running a bit low at the moment Fart of vacas, which means that parts of the cows. Hola, um, Everyone's generally friendly here. They tend to stare a lot, but if you say hello, they say hello back. Nothing in the staring, lads. Where I'm from, if you stare at somebody, <laughs> you're usually going to get yourself into a bit of a problem. Whereas here, they're vacant stairs, they're empty stairs, they're learned stairs. But there's no malice in it. Say hello, say way back, say hello. Not to. This house up here on the right is for sale. I had a look at it earlier today. I love it, I love where it's at, but it's right on the road. Looks back to a little bit, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be interested, but I need somewhere out here. A little bit of uh, off the grid. Opposite that, I didn't notice the motorways up to the left. <laughs> Temperature there, 24 degrees, 20 past one, a mile an hour, so I'm gonna start eating. See what we got today. If you can do more than an hour on the bike, like hour and a half, two hours, start eating around an hour in. A little bit. What we got today? The pow protein cookie. 18 grams of protein. <laughs> I really want carbs. I don't know why I brought this. What else have we got? Uh, oh yeah, got a gel. I'm new to gels. More of a fruit kind of guy, but okay. Gel pack. See this. <coughs> these are what all the pros have now. A couple of these little gels. Carbs. That's what you want. And protein. So I'll have that first. Here we go here. Uh, straight left, left, box. So you know, if you're coming on this route, go left here because <laughs> when it brings you into Odiash, I want to head towards Monchique. Haven't decided if I'm going to go up here yet. Look at that. Yeah, that's the way. Now, the reason why I'm, there, I'm wearing arm warmers is to keep the sun off me. <clears throat> I've been working on my tan for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> right, well, that's, that's one way of putting it. But the first one is I just don't want midday sun on my arms. I have shorts on, so I have sunblock on my legs. Don't you? I don't like wearing sunblock. So I'd rather wear a very thin pair of Lycra arm warmers. It's not that uncomfortable. I have a scarf around my neck, keep my neck tidy. I'm not wearing a helmet because I'm not going to fall off. And that's it. I've got a backlight on, which is probably more important than getting a helmet. So, helmet or a backlight, backlight. I can control what's in front of me. But what I can't control is some dogs coming up behind me. And in the afternoon here, 
have the launch a lot of people are carrying the tank up on the red wine. Smell of weed here. donkeys on the hill there, can you see that? They look like statues. We are gonna go left here. Yeah, definitely left. See the donkeys on the hill? <laughs> wow. All right, cool, let's fix it up. It's a funny little, little village, this one here. A little sharp right over the... Uh, Kids. Like and someone's building their dream house there. Hope the river doesn't flow to them. Little cafe. I don't know what name this like, but the road is like shit. Now this is bumpy, so let's see how the uh, Osmo handles this. There's a dog up here. Okay, there's no taxi there. It's all dogs around here. Hey boy. Little puppy. How you doing? Oh, that's nice. Last time I went straight up this this road here, and um, it was fucking steep. Like it was just it, it wasn't climbing. I was thinking, where the fuck is the climb gonna kick in? Because I know you know it's, it was about 300 meters off the top from the altitude on the stages here, and then I went around the corner and it just went. Oh, 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 this will bring me to the autodrome this way. I'm thinking of riding up the dual carriage or the main road going up to Montreal. It's a nice smooth road. I might ride up that, get a bit of a uh, bit of food on the top and then bomb back down. I might even have a beer. It's the temperature now. It's 96 degrees. So oh, this is the roundabout for the autodrome. Autodrome to the left. Tourists. And Faro's back in this place, so the autodrome was one of those um, best kept secrets of the Algarve. Some guys came in and built a, a Formula One track, and it was amazing, but they never told anyone about it. And they were going to build an airport close to it, so a lot of the Formula One teams were coming down and practicing here, and it could have been on the circuit, but they made some stupid errors where overcharging people and especially guys that are serious you know if you got a guy that comes in he's serious you know, the long term business is going to bring this his, uh, Formula 1 team down here to practice and push it through that it gets on the calendar and you, <laughs> you try to rob them they're not going to come back so it's just been left there so unfortunately I'm going to go left here I wasn't gonna go left here. I was gonna go straight on, but okay. I wasn't gonna go this way, but the, it's such a nice day. It's, I mean, the air is warm. It's, it's warm on my legs. It's, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna seize the day, seize the opportunity, and right up to Montreal, which is uh, there in front of me. This climb here, most of the time I come down it. Some very sharp hairpin bends. Still scares the shit out of me coming down it, but it's a 70 kilometer an hour descent. So I'm gonna climb up it. There's a lovely little kind of plateau up the top. I'm gonna go to a little cafe, get a beer, get a sandwich, and bomb down the other fucking side. I'm a halfway on the battery already, which isn't bad. You know, it's, it's pretty efficient. And I'm gonna put the power pack on it when I stop and see how that goes. Should get me the rest of the day, but how many Ks are we in now? This is the altitude we're at. We're at uh, 81 meters. And we're probably gonna climb to about, uh, probably 600, let me see. So, 31K in. And uh, yeah, okay. like I say, 
I could go home now, but I'm enjoying it. I just enjoy it, you know? I used to do that in Dublin a lot. People would say, hey, do you want to get a coffee? Do you want to meet up for a coffee? Having time. Having time. Make fucking time. I have time. I'm enjoying it. What else are we doing? Watching the TV or checking Instagram? <laughs> no, I'm going to make Instagram. So now she's starting to climb on up. I'm going to keep this around 230 watts, 230, 50 watts, something like that. One more gear left on the bike. And then 60 revs a minute. It's only about a kilometer this year, but 154 heart rate. Just sitting in the saddle pushing 250. On my smallest gear. I don't know what it is. I think I'm 40, 23 or something. 168 heart rate. It goes up to 191, if you're asking. So, I sit on this. As you get out of the saddle, watch the heart rate. Out of the saddle now. It goes up a couple of beats. 300 watts, see? 173. Keep that 250 watts. Just keep that rhythm. I don't know if you can see that. Switch backs here to the left, and then right, and then left. And that's the, the back of a broke then. Need to push on here. I'm gonna have to up the watts. Cause I'm out of gears. And this pitch is getting steeper. 177, 178 beats per minute. Drive on up now. Up. That's it. Left hammer here. And that is it. Fucking like a god. Like a god trapper. Look at this thing. Motoring. 269 meters. Drive on. Well, it's getting hot now. There's the numbers. Two hours twenty in. Forty k one done. Uh, we're coming on to this little village called Cash Cash. Elevation three forty two meters. We've climbed six hundred thirty two. We descended. 300, so you do it, Matt, yeah. 8k to Marmalette or 8k to Monchic. Decisions, decisions. We're gonna go to Monchic. That looks nice. Super smooth roads, they're all banked as well. We have a little bit of descending here, but it's beautiful up here. This whole place burnt down last summer. The Dempsey opened it right here. All those trees that were burnt. But I think, I think at some stage I'd like to live up here. Mont Chic. Look at it, it's fucking
little bit closer maybe, yeah? This is looking dope. Boots. Today we have to open the rose, we'll look for it. See, that's more like, don't mind yourself. You can get this in France. This is interesting. See this uh, bridge here? It's a weighing bridge. You see? And then that weighs the cork, which is uh, over here. That's all off cork trees. Yeah. Boom. Cool, eh? the last bit of climbing before we get to Monchique. This is the uh I gotta hit this one right here. This here is a quarry 46k in uh, I'm not sorry I feel good but it could certainly do with some food I have to get about a 2k this road here hopefully the battery gets me to the cafe and a little conversation with the beautiful people behind the counter. Oh, I've got a ton of sand show baguette. Mm -hmm. baguette. Uh, a tool. Or, fran or, or ten frango. Frango, more frango. Let's see. You ten. So, a tool, a tool. So, fine. Ten sopa. Ten sopa. Sopa. No. So, I'm um, a uh, baguette frango, I'm um, a uh, cerveza de sagres, I'm uh, um, a uh, cola, uh, Pepsi. And a big pingado. Let's go. Coffee, baguette, chewing it, small beer. Pepsi, sparkling water. 495. Didn't have a multi banco, so look at that. Found the fiver in my pocket. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna charge this bad boy up. Just heading down the hill. 50k in. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge you to go. It's fucking beautiful around here. The smell of grass. Wow. Fucking place. Oh, nearly there. Right hammer here. Okay. The road's missing. Cow show. Alright. Smells good. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Surge water. Mm, get some of that. Ah, here. Who's <laughs> still on the fucking road? This reminds me of riding those fucking weaker races and carries. You remember that, lads? <laughs> I 
we were fucked. We pulled up in this fucking town. <laughs> I think it was Can Torque, it fucking was in Kerry. <laughs> and we were riding this Criterium race that night. And it was lashing rain. And we pull in, eight of us in a high ice van. And here the lads are, with a tractor and a trailer. And they're shoveling hot fucking tarmac at them into holes in the road. Don't worry about the race on. And only one of us got out of the fucking van. That was Finn O'Sullivan. Red Ranger Finn. Anyway, <laughs> Cantork, Circa. Don't know what that age was. It was one of the best weeks of my life. It was great. Sleeping on Toy Moriarty's floor. <laughs> Obviously, health and safety's doing well here. Big six foot fucking drop off the side here. And there's a few cones and a bit of old uh, plastic. Saving us. Just, rem just remembered. I don't have a pump. So I get a flat here. I am fucked. Or else I'm riding on a fucking rim home. Where the fuck am I? Come on, baby Jesus. I'll give you all my money. You show me a sign. There it is. I'll give you half my money. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I'll say a few prayers there. We'll call it quits. There's a sign for Lagos. Where the fuck am I? Back in Lagos. 87.8 kilometers. Still take to the gym. Maybe I'll ride around the block to get the extra K in. It's always a little dodgy little spot up there. We'll do our best to navigate. That is a wrap on the spin. So, there's the view. From the gym. So here's the numbers on the uh, 89k climbed over a thousand meters calories burned uh, 1900 see what I'm saying 91k heart rate 183 max there's the zones I was in whatever that means Here's the calories, I'll go with that 4,000. Right, so let's wrap up this um, review-ish. It's kind of a review and it's kind of not a review. <laughs> I know the video's fucking forever long. I'm about arm's distance away from the camera. Same audio. I turned off the wind reduction because it does make a difference to the clarity. So if there's no wind, turn it off. I have to de-warp on as well, whereas before everything is shot there was just unwarped so it's a little bit fish eye whereas now i've got it straight lines and i've got a light because it's it's dark so what i've learned this year from using video cameras is don't buy a fast lens buy a light it'll it'll save you a lot of money a lot of headache instead of having like huge isos sometimes you need it i mean I prefer to shoot in the GH5, it's my favourite camera. I have the Sony for nighttime, say for instance a party or somewhere. You can always bring a light, you can always, you can always stick a headlamp on or bring a light. Just light the fucking scene, isn't it? That's the way it goes. Anyway, review of the footage. Footage looks great to me. I can see why you'd want a gimbal. Because you'll see on some of the descents I'm on the drops, I had to readjust them, hoping and praying that it was in... in the right field of view but if you had a gimbal it's always going to find that i suppose with the mountain bike you wouldn't get away with it i'm going to try it out in the mountain bike i mean that was just a road bike all in all i think it did a good job on the audio with the wind i'm going to get one of these they're like it's like um it's like a it's like a cover that goes over it and it's it's cloth and it just wind muffs the whole thing and i think i'm going to get one of them i think it make a big difference but compared to the other osmo it's much better it's smaller it's waterproof, super stable, not too much of the up and down as you can see. You see how much the bars are moving. The biggest one for me is the startup time. I just press record, it, re it records straight away. I'm not missing anything. A lot of the times it would take me eight to 10 seconds for the other thing to start up and catch up and connect to the phone. And then I'd have to stop and 